Hi, Damon here again for Automotive Superstore, and this time around, it's a bit of a special product. We're talking about Sirwin Vega's VMAX 6.5 and 8 inch subwoofer. These are quite a unique thing and kind of a special application. Why would you use a 6.5 or an 8 inch subwoofer? It all really comes down to the enclosure size you've got to work with. And let's be honest, to start with, there's almost no application, or very rarely, that you'll have a limitation in this plane. Normally, you've got plenty of room for an 8, a 10, or a 12 in this plane. It's the depth that's the problem. It's just that sometimes even that plane's impossible, and so therefore you end up having to use a high excursion small diameter driver, and you've only got a very small enclosure volume to work with. These two are just like the 10 and the 12 in the mainstream, uh, more volume selling VMAX sizes. Cast frame, vented pole piece and radial vented around here, flat spiders. Big surrounds providing higher than usual excursion than you'll find for drivers of this size. Uh, they're also dual four ohm like every other version of VMAX regular subwoofer. This one has eight gauge connected permanent leads for the two voice coils because really there's no room to fit a terminal on these to get them in and out of your box easily whereas the eight has the push terminals just like your regular 10s and 12s. For enclosures, 11 litres sealed for the 6.5, which is absolutely tiny. And the point of that is you're probably going to be using multiples, two, three, maybe even four of these. The 8-inch the only needs around 17 litres sealed. Alternatively, go for a ported box. A bit larger in size, but for the limited cone area that you've got, you'll get more base three, four dB more base for any given input amount of power that you've got on hand. Uh, for a ported box, it's around 21 litres for the six and a half. And it's about 28 to 29 litres for the eight and a half. If you're gonna match these to amplifiers, again, you're probably gonna use these in multiple, so you need to be careful of that when you're selecting an amplifier. Two ohm nominal load when they're in parallel, so therefore, if you use it singularly, you could just use something like the CVP series 200 watts RMS output for the base model, which matches the power rating of the six and a half just quite nicely. Alternatively, the CVP 2000 will do 400 watts RMS at two ohms, which is exactly what the power handling of the eight is. If you're gonna use these as multiples and do parallel wiring, you need to think about that with your amplifier wiring choice and your amplifier choices. One ohm stable amplifiers like this B, uh, B51 series is ideal for say two six and a halves. Or the HED series, 1000 watts RMS at one ohm, probably good for two of the eights. These are also available in the 10 and the 12, as I said before. And unless you've really, really got a reason that you have to use one of these, I'd try and make one of those 10s or 12s work. It's going to be a lot easier. However, having said that, if you've got a special application, these may be able to help you out. If you need more help with choosing the right Selwyn Vega subwoofer for your system, give us a call at Automotive Superstore and one of our techs will give you some advice on which woofer and which amplifier will go for your specific application. Like and subscribe and while you're down there, make a comment and I'll see you on the next one.